Hey guys, welcome back to the ranch to another unconventional repair video. So, you know, we're all about fixing stuff with stuff that you got, saving money, doing stuff yourself here. Well, um, I'm in a rental property here and we had an issue a while ago where water came in uh, in the dining room. And as you can see here, it broke away uh, this part of the drywall here and when the geniuses built this uh, addition to the house they did not frame it properly so there is no stud here whatsoever so I can't even properly patch it that's why you can see there's a crack going all the way up because this part is not attached to anything well anyway spoke to the realtor that I deal with uh, with this property who manages the place and uh, yeah she asked me if I could repair it I said yeah I'm not quite sure how um, I'm thinking maybe spray foam and um, kind of plaster spackle on top of that to get it to fix and she was okay with the idea so we have this stuff right here which we are going to put in the hole which we're then going to let come out we're going to cut it off flat and then we're going to use some type of uh, spackle material I'll show you when we get to that step uh, to try to recreate the texture on the outside and see if this works or doesn't work maybe it'll be a video out of it maybe not last time I did something unconventional it was a really successful video in terms of lots of views and people hated it so why not let's make another one so let's get to it It's a couple days later, as life has it. So it is fully hard now. And you can see it is solid. So I sprayed it to the back, up, side, everywhere. And now you're gonna have to just take a knife and cut it as flush as possible. And then we're gonna try to spackle it. So let's go. Alright, now you can see this hole is nicely filled and now what I got to use is this patching plaster. I have this left over from another project and what we're going to do is just make a couple fine passes with this, couple fine layers to patch this nice and flat and in the end we're going to try to get a nice texture going so let's mix this up a bit and let's get to plaster it
So we'll give this a little bit of time to dry, a couple hours till it's all the way hard. And then we'll go over with a second layer, let that dry. Uh, we'll see how it turns out. Maybe we'll need a third or fourth layer in some places. You need to build this stuff up nice and thin. Just keep letting it dry and then we'll go um, to the texturing and I'll show you how to do that. All right, so we got it now to the level that we want it, pretty much flat. Now what we want to do is create a bit of a texture on it because this wall is textured, but I don't want to go buy a uh, textured spray which they used for it. So what I'm actually going to do is make another thin pass of this over it. Right here, never mind that in the background there. We're getting some extra sound effects there. That can happen when you're not alone on the ranch. So, all right, we just need a thin layer. We don't need too much. Put it on the other side here too. Cause I want a texture on this side here too. Just a little bit. All right, there we go. Now, I'm gonna take some regular household paper. I just kind of scrunch it up like this. And what I want to do is just dab into it and just kind of pull out on it. And you want it to make those little, yeah, whatever you want to call those little pull out texture thingies like that. And we're actually going to let this dry and harden all the way. And then we're going to knock off the peaks. And after you paint it from a distance, you will not be able to really tell that much that um that this was done with this kind of technique and you saved yourself some money so let's let this dry and i'll show you afterwards the next step we're back again it is now dry and if i get you up close you can see uh kind of the texture that it made uh right here in the way it kind of stands up uh, compared to the spray texture that was on here before now what I do, I got this giant spatula, spatula looking thing. No idea what actually the tool's name is, so don't crucify me for it. But what I like to do is go flush against it and just rub over it to knock off all the high spots and kind of make it flat because as you see on this texture, uh, it is texture, but it's flat. There's no high peaks on it or anything. So I'm gonna be mimicking that um, with this. Whoops, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and quickly do that. That's it. Uh, just makes a little bit of dust down here, which will vacuum up. And now this is ready for paint. So I'm gonna paint it, finish it up, put the baseboards back, and I'll show you the finished product basically afterwards, how it looks, that it will definitely look better than the big hole we had before. Now the reason I use such a big tool is because it's just easier to kind of place it on one spot and move it over. You can do it with a smaller putty knife. Uh, or whatever because all you want to do is as I said knock off those burrs uh, Make them flat as you can see they're rather flat now And I'm gonna go ahead and give us a uh, coat of paint like the rest was and as I said I'll show you when I'm all done and Hopefully from a distance we shouldn't see too bad that it's patched back here and yeah See you in a few the corner is now painted Baseboards are in place. They're not tacked in yet. They're just lying here, but you can see that from a distance Yeah, you can see uh, This here that was prior damage already. Of course you can see the crack, but over here You don't really see too much um, where the foam actually started the repair and 
you know, you can push into it. It is solid, as solid as this corner can be on this side. So what do we learn? We are able to make smaller repairs with expanding foam and plaster to put over it. Now, would I suggest doing this in the middle of the wall somewhere or somewhere where you can actually tie into the structure? No, I would not. There I would do the classic repair, but here where you have a wall that was built the way it was built and you're just working with what you got, do it like that. So I hope this video was informative for you guys. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment and talk to you guys in my next video.